hello everyone so today we are going to implement this uh, weapon crates from different ammo types so here we have a uh, regular rifle ammo and this is crossbow ammo so let me pick up the rifle and if i collect you can see the rifle ammo increases similarly if i collect this you can see the crossbow co ammo count increases Similarly, for the pistol, you can see the pistol ammo count increases. And here, this is a flamethrower ammo, but I don't have a flamethrower at the moment. So, if I go here, I don't get that pickup. But if I pick up a flamethrower, Put the flame through. Uh, now I get the notification. So the system identifies if I have a weapon of that type, and only if that's the case, I get the notification. So that's what we are going to work on today. And also in the level, I can select one of these crates and change the ammo type. For example, if I change this to RPG, you can see this icon changes. If I change this to Sniper, you can see the icon change. So it automatically changes. So, right. Let's see how to do these things today. And this episode is uh, sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for your support. okay so last time we had only this icon which is a rifle ammo icon so i have now created and imported these different icons flamethrower ammo crossbow ammo sniper ammo so all these things so we have i have multiple different icons so now that's what i'm going to implement so based on this ammo type i am going to change the icon and also Mm, I'm going to implement collecting different types of I, uh, ammo only if the player has a gun from that type okay so now uh, let me open the BP ammo and under construction script let's get the ammo type and uh, we can get the billboard so in the billboard we have the sprite can we set sprite right so we can uh, select the sprite based on the ammo type Content browser and put it in the other screen so I can easily set it. Grenade. Oh. Intro. RPG. And crossbow. Right. So I assigned all the icons. And now here, if I change this rifle to pistol, you can see the icon changes. Rifle to shotgun also, the same happen. Okay, so I'll keep this rifle. Duplicate. And change this one to crossbow. Oh, that icon is not clear. This one to Mister. Mm -hmm.
Oh, it still say the same thing. Everything says rifle ammo. Oh, I change the first bow icon to this one. So it should be better. So now uh, to change the name. Here what we're showing is rifle ammo and E. So instead of rifle ammo, let's add the pin. Can we move the pin? No. And here let's get the ammo type connect now it should show the correct name rifle ammo crossbow ammo pistol ammo so if I uh, If I equip the pistol, here it became 300. And if I equip the crossbow, it becomes 190. Okay, so the picking up part works, but I noticed something out here. So here 270 ammo count. Let me unequip and pick up and then uh, it's 300 okay but uh, if I pick up now and equip now it's 270 what's happening here Alright, actually it's nothing wrong, when we equip, we put the magazine capacity, we load them into the amount that we have in the mag uh, as the magazine capacity. So why, that's why it becomes 270. Okay, it's not a problem. Alright, the another thing is let me change this to a flame thrower now here i get the flame thrower notification and if i press c it also get picked up as well but i don't have a flame thrower so maybe we should prevent collecting that how so here maybe we should do something like this we need to check if this player character can pick up this same type so but how can we do that hmm. Maybe here. Uh, yes. Output should be a boolean. Yes, or no. Now, here. 
here. Did I compile this? So we can again, we can get the guns, values, and do a for each loop. Is valid if, we, if the gun value is valid. Then we can check ammo type. Get ammo type. If this is equal to the ammo type, we want to check here. If this is true, we can return true. Otherwise, we can return false. Okay, now here, before we set the target character, we can check can collect ammo type. As the ammo type, we can give the ammo type this box holds if true. We can pop up this notification and enable input, otherwise, we don't do anything. And I just noticed here we should set target. We should clear that value here. It's not relevant to what we are doing at the moment, but I just noticed this. Okay, now let's see. So if I go here, I don't get the notification because uh, I don't have a flamethrower. Here I get because I have a pistol. Now if I pick up the flamethrower, Now I should get the notification. Let's see. Okay, great. Now I can. Okay, so it works as expected. And here I think I can stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. And as always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.